Bill Gates, billionaire and currently the fourth richest person in the world, purchased a new mansion in 2020 for $43 million. The oceanfront property is located in Del Mar near San Diego, California and made for one of the largest sales ever in that area. Of course, it's not like the Gates family needed another home. Bill and his wife own a high-tech main residence situated on Lake Washington that's worth a reported $127 million, an equestrian estate in Rancho Santa Fe, and about four other properties a couple of which were gifted to their daughter. We'll take a look at Bill's newest San Diego estate, his main home, and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. As you likely know, Bill Gates rose to prominence being the co-founder of Microsoft, considered one of the best-known entrepreneurs of the microcomputer revolution in the 70s and 80s. He's a business magnate, tech innovator, philanthropist, and more, who's one of the wealthiest people on the planet with a whopping net worth estimated at nearly $130 billion. Although he's stepped down from his lead roles at Microsoft, he remains a tech advisor to the current CEO and is far from being retired. On the other hand, Bill has long been involved in philanthropy, dedicated a big chunk of his time and money to charity. He and his wife also own the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is rumored to be the world's largest private charity, and it's only one of his many philanthropic endeavors. Despite all the cash Bill allegedly gives back to charity, he's still managed to buy up multiple properties for he and his family to call home. This includes his main mansion in Medina, Washington, his latest property in San Diego, buying lavish horse farms for his daughter Jennifer, and much more. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I am bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. We've reported on Bill Gates' mansions in the past, but it's time for an update, considering last year he bought a gorgeous property in Del Mar right on the ocean. Look at a few of the multi-million dollar estates that he and his family call home. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Just last year, it was reported that Bill and his wife treated themselves to a brand new oceanfront mansion in Del Mar, California. Del Mar is a beach city in San Diego, situated right on the coast of the Pacific Ocean, and Bill purchased the modern residence for a whopping $43 million, making it one of the largest real estate sales the neighborhood has ever seen. Surprisingly, the former owners sold the home at a loss. Seller was businesswoman and horse breeder Madeline Pickens, former wife of Texas oil and gas magnate T. Boone Pickens passed away a year prior. They bought the estate for over $48 million in 2007, which is quite a bit more than the Gates scored it for. Anyways, the contemporary compound has multiple structures, which include a main house spanning about 5,800 square feet with six beds and four baths, as well as two additional guest houses. Soaring beamed wood ceilings throughout the residence give the place an island or resort-like feel, while the main living space has full walls of retractable glass that open to reveal views of the ocean. Here, there's also a spacious dining area and a fireplace. A few of the bedrooms also include marble fireplaces as well as their own private terraces, while the master suite has a lounge and vanity as well. Another open-air sitting room boasts a flat screen TV above a fireplace, and this room is surrounded by jacuzzi and pool access on either side. This home was constructed by architect Ken Ronchetti back in 1999 and upgraded since, also offering features like a health spa, home movie theater, and radiant floor heating. While the indoor features are impressive, the outside is where the real magic lies. Here it looks like the mosaic tiled light up pool is the feature of the property, considering it lies in the center, and elsewhere there's a 10 person jacuzzi and a tennis court. There are multiple patios and terraces, one cozy space with an outdoor fireplace and luxury furnishings. The entire home has access to 120 feet of direct waterfront. According to listing materials, the house is well known and considered a city landmark, and the elegant estate was built with the finest woods and stones. Bill's home also has limestone floors, automated security, lighting, and other high-tech add-ons. When Bill isn't enjoying the beach in Del Mar, his high-tech main residence is Medina, Washington, where he and his wife reportedly spend most of their time, and it even has its own name, dubbed Zanadu 2.0 after the fictional home of Charles Foster Kane, the main character in Citizen Kane. Located on Lake Washington, this area isn't highly populated, so it makes for an extremely private and secluded place to live. 
perfect for big shots like Bill and fellow billionaires. While Gates purchased the lot for a mere $2 million in 1988, after constructing the extravagant mansion and all of its wild add-ons, its worth is estimated at over $127 million these days. It took Bill 7 years and about $63 million to build this estate, and the Pacific Lodge style abode spans about 66,000 square feet, loaded to the brim with high-tech features. But would you expect anything less from him? There are 7 bedrooms, allegedly 24 bathrooms, 10 of which are full, and 6 kitchens throughout. The cabin style mansion sits on over 5 acres of land overlooking the lake and apparently used half a million board feet of lumber to construct. It was made with 500 year old Douglas fir trees and 300 construction workers labored on the home in total. When guests visit the Gates home, they're given a pin that interacts with sensors throughout the property. One can enter their temperature and lighting preferences so that settings can change with the click of a button, while speakers hidden behind the wallpaper allows music to follow you from room to room. Bill's mansion was also built into its surroundings to regulate temperature and conserve more energy, while a lot of the home is hidden underground in the hill so it looks smaller than it really is from the outside. The mansion also contains $80,000 worth of computer screens, and anyone can make the screens show their favorite photos or paintings. Other rooms include a library spanning 2,100 square feet with a dome roof and two secret bookcases, one of which reveals a hidden bar. There are other unique features here like a quote on the ceiling from the Great Gatsby and a 16th century Leonardo da Vinci manuscript that Bill purchased for over $30 million at auction. Not to mention the home movie theater has room for 20 to sit and was designed in an art deco style with comfy chairs, couches and a popcorn machine. While it might seem like your average home theater, some have called it the most state of the art one in the entire world. The massive 60 foot pool is in its own 3,900 square foot building and those going for a dip can actually swim underneath a glass wall and emerge outdoors by the terrace area. There's also a locker room with 4 showers and 2 baths. The exercise facilities at Bill's Mansion total 2,500 square feet and include a sauna, steam room and separate men and women's locker rooms, while elsewhere there's a sprawling indoor trampoline. The 1,900 square foot guest house was actually the first structure built on the property and was meant to be a test of the technology that now exists in the main house, so I guess it was a hit. For the times when Bill and Melinda would host functions, he didn't need to go far because his estate has its own 2,300 square foot reception. Hall. This space seats about 150 guests and includes a 6 foot wide limestone fireplace on one wall, while the other has a massive video screen. Now there are a ton of other features at Bill's unique mansion including different garages, including one that's an underground cave, and the billionaire even has special sand on his beach. The sand on Bill's part of the lake is not from Washington, he actually gets it imported from a tropical beach in St. Lucia. But I guess when you have the type of money Mr. Gates has, you can afford to do weird things like that. Before before we wrap up this house tour, let's take a quick look at Bill's other home in Rancho Santa Fe. Back in 2014, Bill bought this equestrian estate from weight loss expert Jenny Craig and their family owned it for over a decade. She hoped to sell the 228 acre property to someone else who had a similar passion for horses since it was a horse training facility and this was something the Gates knew a lot about too. Their daughter had been participating in horseback riding competitions for years so it was a perfect fit. The estate is located in California about 20 minutes north from San Diego so not too far from the modern house Bill bought last year. Apparently this property cost about 18 million dollars and it features a 3 quarter mile racetrack, 4 30 stall barns for horses and a fifth barn with 21 stalls. Aside from the main house, there's also a guest house and two apartments, along with a separate office, veterinarian suite, and elsewhere an olive orchard. Alright, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We've checked out the homes of Bill Gates, including his latest real estate purchase, a modern oceanfront mansion near San Diego that cost him about $43 million. We also looked at his main high-tech mansion on Lake Washington, and what we know about one of his equestrian estates in Rancho Santa Fe. After seeing a few homes of Mr. Gates, what did you guys think? Is it what you'd expect from the fourth richest man in the world? I for one think it is. Let's not forget Gates additionally maintains another equestrian estate in Wellington, Florida, purchased in 2013 for $8.7 million, and a mini mansion in Hobie Sound, Florida, scooped up in 2009 for $5 million. He and his wife also gifted their daughter Jennifer a Westchester horse farm after graduating in 2018 and a $5 million New York City condo soon after. 
Anyways, be sure to let me know what you thought down in the comments or what you liked or didn't like about Bill's mansion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.